Hi guys, welcome to another video by Color Scream. Today we will be unboxing and reviewing the newer NW800 microphone and the Behringer Euphoria UMC22. Recently I realized that my USB microphone was pretty weak and the sound was terrible, so I decided to upgrade my setup. Let's take a look what's inside the package. At first there is the user's manual, let's ignore that. Next is the windscreen. It was squished in the package, but I don't care that much because I'm going to use a pop filter instead. Next you can find the shock mount holder, which prevents any vibration to travel from the stand or the desk to the microphone itself. The package has also a cable included. It's a XLR to mini jack cable, which makes it possible to plug this microphone directly to your computer. I'm not going to use this cable since I have the Behringer Euphoria. Let's look at the microphone itself. The housing is made out of metal. It has a fashionable design, noble and elegant appearance, and it feels sturdy and durable. Let's take a peek inside to reveal the electronics. But I don't know anything about it, so let's screw this together and not mention it again. Now let's proceed to the scissor arm. I don't think it's made well, and out of the box a few bolts were loose, so the stand made a rattling sound. But it held the microphone and the pop filter up, so I can say it's okay. The package contains a desk lamp, the scissor stand itself, and a microphone holder. The issue is that the holder is made for a different type of microphone than the one provided in the package. But that's the problem since I'm going to use the shock mount. Now let's quickly check the pop filter. I expected something better, but please remember, the whole set costs around 30 euros. That is about 31 US dollars at the time of this recording. You can find the links in the description. The screw that mounts the gooseneck to the clamp is loose and you have to mount the pop filter on one side of the scissor arm in order to prevent the gravitation to unscrew the filter itself. So the first part of the unboxing is done and we can set the microphone up. The clamp has a good handle, so it's pretty easy to screw the clamp to the table. After that you simply slide the scissor stand into the clamp. In order to keep the same position you have to secure it with the screw at the back. The shock mount has a standard screw, so again it's pretty easy to mount it on the scissor stand. In order to slide the microphone into the shock mount, you have to pinch the two levers in the mount itself and slide the microphone in. Pretty straightforward. As for the cable, I trusted a company named Procap. I've been using their products for a few years now and I am satisfied with the price quality ratio. It's a 3 meters cable. Simply stick it into the microphone and secure it on the scissor arm. Leave some cable hanging under the microphone since it can transfer shocks from the table and the scissor stand to the microphone. The pop filter has to be simply screwed on one of the arms of the scissor stand. Now let's proceed with the Behringer Euphoria UMC22. The interface is secured with styrofoam on the sides and plastic foil all over the unit. The interface has two input and two output channels. It has one Midas mic preamp on the microphone input and or up to two instrument inputs. Additionally in the box the instructions can be found and a sticker. And since I love stickers, I have to ask everybody to send me more stickers. Just kidding.
The installation is very easy. You have to simply connect the interface to your PC with the USB cable provided and select the device as the input-output device. I was really surprised that all the drivers used were already provided with the operating system, both OS X and Windows. As you can see here, the bolts were loose and made a rattling sound. I bought it because the sound from iGoku USB was terrible and it lacked a proper windshield or a pop filter. After all, the newer NW800 was about 30 euros with the pop filter and the scissor stand included. I've totally ignored the solution where the USB sound card was provided since it was terrible. I suggest to invest into an audio interface like this Behringer Euphoria UMC22 with Midas preamps. Be aware that for the same price you can get the UM2 which is not that good. I'm sure you will notice the sound quality increase in my future tutorials. I hope you like this video and if you find it useful please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and leave a comment. Thank you and have a great day.